My name is Beston. I live in Cape Town. And also, I do uh, delivery. Interbed helped me to realize my dreams. Now I have my own delivery vehicle and I'm able to do the removal in and around Cape Town. Hi and welcome to all the racing enthusiasts and fans around the globe joining us for this pre-recorded show which is recorded early doors on Saturday morning for the Sunday meeting which takes place at Hollywood Bet Scottsville. In studio, Devon Govender. Devon, how are you doing and what do you make of the card? Yeah, I'm doing uh, well, thanks. Uh, and yourself, Sheldon? All good, under control at this stage of the game and hopefully we can guide the punters in the right direction. Talking about the right direction, race number one kicks off at 12.35. Let's go straight to an interview package with Michael Roberts, Peter Musket, Boren Wurters, and also Stuart Ferry. Very nice, Philly. You know, um, uh, obviously, as you know, you know, probably will need the experience. But uh, actually, both my Hollywood fillies, uh, you know, are very nice. And, um, you know, so I'm expecting uh, nice runs from them. Yes, yeah, she's a... Uh quality filly uh, in the making. Um, she obviously made a very good debut. She bungled the start, sat out the back very green, but did come home very well uh, in the straight. Uh, up the straight, uh, straight Scot Scottsville track, she's not going to get too far out of her ground, even if she does step away a little bit slow. Um, it's very strong cape form. Uh, I think it's one of Glenn Cotson's horses in the race who looks pretty hard to oppose, uh, but our filly's taken good natural improvement out of her race, and she should be right there. You know, Kutpro Quo, very speedy, but uh, I think, I don't know if you've seen her first three rounds, very green. And uh, even at the track in the mornings, she ducks for stuff that she sees, I don't know whatever. But because of her speed, I mean, you can't take a chance, and I don't want to gamble with her. I think uh, she's decent, and... Uh, we started working with blinkers on something I've never done in my life. Even when she can just keep the blinkers on. It seems to keep her straight and keep her happy. And it also could give you more of a horse on the race day. I must say that uh, Richard Fourier won on her. He's now riding Mr. Muskets also. That gives you a reason for concern. And uh, Glenn cotson has got a horse that's come up from Cape Town with fairly decent Cape form. But uh, I think we'll see a better horse with the blinkers on. Yeah, I think last time she was drawn badly, and I think she also maybe just needed needed it again. And uh, yeah, listen, she's you know she won a nice race first time, but first time back it's first time at Scottsville. But uh, listen, it's, uh, it's quite competitive in that little two-year-olds. You never know, got to give away to one or two nice ones that have had a run. But uh, listen, she's shown nice work at home, and uh, you know I think she's caught her type of filly. Yes, uh, you know we were a little bit disappointed last time. I thought she you know she would run a, a bit better. Uh, but, uh, you know, she, she got a bit rough up before the race. Um, you know, Rachel is, you know, is, is gone for her just because of the experience, you know, so uh, uh, I'm hoping for a bit of improvement on her as well. Well, thanks very much to the trainers giving their comments for the runners in race number one. Just having a look at the betting. Number 14, Whistle in the Tune. This is one of the fancy runners, so we'll keep a close eye on this individual. And having a look at the form lines of that last run in the Grade 3, and that was when fifth behind one stripe. We have Little Ballerina who's come through, Lion Ramparts come through to win, and of course a horse called Winds of Change has come to run second. If you look at the penultimate run, there's been winners from that form line. The Sahara Cat form line is very, very strong. And Yvonne Whistle in the Tune, daughter of Captain of All. Glenn Cotson's obviously brought her here for the KwaZulu Natal winter season. And this will be her stepping stone. Yes, uh, Sheldon, the form lines are very, very good. And this has got to be a massive runner, currently trading at around about 18 to 10. It's got Craig Zaki aboard, and we spoke about that form lines as well as the experience that this horse already has. So we'll have a slight advantage. But there will be one or two question marks how she is going to take to the Scottsville track as well as the scenery here in KwaZulu-Natal. Sometimes they might just need one run in the province 
For me, I make it a very tricky race because there are many improvers. If I was pushed into a corner for a first selection, I will narrowly lean towards number three, Waza Nawe. Firstly, I like the comments from uh, Peter Musket. He said it's a quality filly and I thought that debut effort was an absolute cracker because she was drawn 10 out of 10 on that occasion and still managed to finish second, this time down the straight with the Richard Furrier board. Healthy respect for this individual. Yes, 100% right. And when it comes to the betting activity, number 14, Whistle in the Tune from... 18 to 10, shortened 16 to 10, but it's gone back 18 to 10. And the money horse is number three, Waza Nawe. From six to one, down four to one, down seven to two. So the money could speak volumes. And then after that individual, a horse like number eight, Quid Pro Quo, and one or two others that you can include. Number 11, One Path, after a second on debut, but all depends about number 14. Whistle the tune, if she brings her A game, she should just about win race number one.